and welcome to the five best targets to image in May. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! Welcome to May! We have another five targets for you guys to do this month and we'll have again three beginner targets and two advanced. So my favorite of May is kind of tricky because you can only see it if you're south enough. So for us in Vegas it does rise but not enough to be imaged. So, so we cannot really do it but we were able to process it last year and it was amazing. So if you're south enough you can actually attempt this one. It's going to be Centaurus A. It's a fantastic looking galaxy with a crazy black hole in it that is super uh, active and there is also some uh, there's also a jet coming out of it that's almost impossible to capture with amateur equipment but it's been done in the past it only requires many 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 hours and true dark sight and um, the galaxy is also shaped kind of strangely because it had a, a collision in the past and um, that's why it makes this galaxy so unique it's just really beautiful um, the other target that we have for beginners is the Iris Nebula, which is very beautiful. If anything, we can probably describe it as like what you think heaven looks like in space. It's it's gorgeous. I mean, <clears throat> look at that. It's beautiful. The only thing that we would say that's difficult for this is that there's a lot of dark clouds or dark gas. So when you're processing it, when you're processing this target, it might be a little difficult, but it is still classified as a beginner target. Yeah, overall it's still easy, but it's just difficult to get just perfect. Um, and then the third target for beginners would be a cluster, a pretty large globular cluster, M92, which you can see behind us. And uh, this one is just full of stars. It's, I believe it's almost the same size as M13, so it's a famous uh, Hercules cluster. And the uh, rise is pretty high in the sky as well, I believe. So. This one is one of the best, I think, globular clusters to capture for beginners. And then we have uh, two advanced targets for this month. Yes. That are much more difficult. So this one's going to be really difficult. It's called the Cat's Eye Nebula. And it's honestly very beautiful. If you've seen the images from Hubble, they're like absolutely incredible. However, it's going to be really, really difficult to get for an amateur. Like it's, it's very, very small. So you're going to need a really like large telescope in order not this one in order for you to to really like get it like oh gosh like i was looking at videos earlier and honestly if you're up for the challenge this is probably the ultimate one for this month i would say don't bother if you have a, a small scope just try to wait it out until you have a really really big scope and try it then because it's, it's very tiny just you it's mark just tiny. it but yeah. it's it's definitely a really really interesting one to try if you're willing to do it it's beautiful though. And then uh, the last one for advanced uh, astrophotographers is going to be the Fireworks Galaxy. Now that one is uh, full of HA um, for Galaxy and uh, it's also, I believe it's kind of hidden between uh, behind some of the, the gases of the Milky Way itself but I, I know it's a difficult target to capture and uh, will require many hours of exposure and if you really want to get the true colors you will need not only RGB but HA as well. So spend a lot of time on this one. It's not very large either, so good luck. But um, it looks great, it's very festive. It's really cool looking. Fireworks. Yeah. So that was it for the uh, our five favorite targets for this month. And um, yeah, I think this was the last video actually for this series because we this was the 12th video we started in June last year, so. End of an era, but who knows? We could be making more. I don't know. If you guys like this series, let us know if you have any other idea for a, a different series, a long term uh, you know, series for this coming year. But um, yeah, this was fun. So we hope this, uh, those videos helped you out a lot. And if you still need some help, try to check out our guides online for the best targets to image for beginners on uh, for each season, as well as our book. The Astro do that? Our book. Um, for the best targets to image all year long. We've suggested a lot of targets that were actually in this book. 
and you know it, where there are some that we actually didn't for you know the seasons we went month by month but these go by season. those ones are all the beginner ones yeah. yes so i mean if there was some other ones that you'd like to you know look at and take advantage of definitely go astrophotographer's guidebook so we'll see you guys next time and um yes guys